Hello everyone, great to be with you from Stamford Bridge. I'm Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me, ready to provide all the technical and tactical analysis, is Stuart Robson. And very much looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League. It is Chelsea up against Leeds United. Well, thanks Derek as always. The scene is set, two good teams, a great playing surface and a vibrant atmosphere. It has all the ingredients for a really exciting game. Well, you really have to have plenty of imagination when you come face to face with this watertight Chelsea defence. Stewart, best record in the league. Well, they press the ball at the right times and then drop off at the right times too, which is key to any good defensive structure. Their tactical understanding is absolutely brilliant, which is why they've conceded so few goals. Here's the lineup for Chelsea. Edouard Mendy starts in goal. Thiago Silva plays with Antonio Rudiger in central defence. N'Golo Conte starts alongside Jorginho in the centre of midfield. And the main threat in attack today will likely be Romelu Lukaku. And a look at the Leeds United starting 11. Well, they're starting in a very solid 4 5 1, but they transition really quickly, and key to that are the wide players. They'll support the centre forward as soon as they win the ball back, and they usually do it with a lot of quality. And the contest begins. to the advanced position an attack full of promise and now it's Phillips well just narrowly over the crossbar good hit though Rudiger, this is Thiago Silva, Lukaku, Mount, and the cross is very much on, it is now with Jorginho, terrific piece of anticipation, Patrick Bamford, here's Rafinha, Poor shot. Well, a shame that he couldn't find the target from there. Christensen James Reese James Alert defending Cleese Useful looking position you've got to say Can he play it in? And routine for the keeper in the end, the cross far too close to him. Lukaku. Romelu Lukaku now. Working away patiently, looking for an opening. 
Well, they couldn't keep that sequence going, unfortunately. Unable to get himself back onside here. Well, he was always going to be offside. That was the wrong option. Cleef. Well, that's a well-timed pass. He just needs to keep a cool head. And a goal to give them the lead. They have their reward. Well, here it is again. And you have to say the 1-2 completely opens up the defensive structure. And there's certainly no doubt about the finish. He really hits it with power and accuracy. Nothing the keeper can do about that. So Chelsea get the game restarted. How will they respond to that goal? Well, he's given us away. Good-looking ball. Well, they're not standing off their opponents in the slightest. Determined defending. Mount Lukaku going about his defensive business with a minimum of fuss Cooper Mateusz Klich and now it's Phillips Harrison he has time to play it over and the keeper there to catch it under no real pressure so nearing the half-time interval and Chelsea facing a deficit. Stuart, what have you made of their first-half performance? Well, I've been a little disappointed with their attacking play. It's all been a bit too slow. If they can pass it into their front areas with more quality, switch play quicker... Oh, opportunity here, Stuart! Well, fantastic reflex action from the goalkeeper. Well, sitting deep like this might be a dangerous game. And he takes on the shot. And not cleared away properly. Well, they can bring it out now. Making excellent progress with the ball at his feet. Kai Havertz, Thiago Silva, Conte has it. Well, they're doing a fine job of applying pressure here, not giving their opponents time to think or get out of their own half. Well, adding up all the stoppages, we will have two extra minutes. A danger here as he runs at them. Lukaku waiting. And so the first half draws to a close here in West London. Well, the action underway once again. And work to do for Chelsea in this second half. Mount. Possession one. Bamford. And unable to keep the ball.
might be able to set up the chance. And he's apparently veered into an offside position, Stuart. Well, that's tight, really tight. But he was just too anxious to make his run. He was in, though. Jorginho. And Chelsea have given us away. Mateusz Klich. Now, will they be able to play it in behind the defence? But then the one that goes astray. Counter attacking, very much an option. Havertz. Conte. Marcus Alonso. Danger averted for now, but they have a corner to defend. Well, it's been a while, but these fans are now coming to life. Can they equalise here? Well, they are committed to making the substitution here. Number 43, Mateus to be replaced by... Who can he pick out? Uh, straight at the goalkeeper then. Well, there you have it. Just not enough going forward from them today. They've lacked tempo, they've lacked a sense of urgency, and above all, a bit of quality. It's been very disappointing. Lukaku. Can they trouble the opposition this time? And credit is due for that good piece of defending. This looks promising out wide. Efficiency personified. Marcus Alonso. On the ball, Rudiger. Playing with purpose and control. Perfect challenge. Going about his defensive business with a minimum of fuss. Threaded through by Lukaku. Well, it might still work out for them. And I think the threat has been averted. Just 15 minutes remaining. On the offensive. And the defender got the last touch. That'll be a corner. There has been plenty of limbering up from substitutes. And now both sides will make personnel switches. Trying to deliver it accurately. It might be. Pulisic. Conte now. Tactically quite clear what they're doing. Trying to get right on top of their opponents. As clean as a whistle, that challenge. Just ten minutes to go. And the defender coming out on top against Lukaku.
Well, I'm not sure Chelsea have been at their best, but there's still time to find that equaliser. And you have to say the crowd have been brilliant. They're still driving their team on here. A very timely interception. An incisive pass. And the attack carries an initial threat, but fizzled out. Well, it's going to be a great finish here. These Chelsea fans are ramping up the noise now. They're surely going to get another chance before the end. Really getting stuck in. Well, adding up all the stoppages, we will have two extra minutes. Clock is not on Chelsea's side, but it's not over for them. Well, he read that brilliantly at the back. The final whistle then. The referee says that will be all. And Chelsea fans less than pleased. No points for Chelsea from this game. Well, Derek, not quite good enough today. Yes, they only lost by one goal, but I never felt they were in control of the game. A frustrating day all round for the coach to think about for the next time.